So currently, uh, there hasn't been a lot of tests in this project, which is why I've started introducing integration tests so I can be confident in my Postgres implementations. So in this project, I'm using the repository pattern. Uh, so I interface my kind of entities, my domains um, separately, right? So I have a Postgres implementation of this engineer or profile repository here, uh, which has all of its methods on it, like add profile, get profile for user, um, get all and add experience profile, which is currently unimplemented. Um, and obviously I'm using raw SQL queries here. And I think it's quite common in Go that people use uh, queries like this, you know, it's raw. Um, these ones are quite simple, luckily. So there's not an awful lot to test necessarily. Um, and obviously I didn't really want to go for an ORM and I didn't want to use a package such as SQL C either. Although I know you get the, uh, the benefit of SQL C is their type safe queries, but Hey, um, so I wanted to be able to run Postgres tests within my Go application itself. And I didn't really want to have to mess with Docker or running a test database anywhere. I just wanted the Go service to spin up a database within itself via a container when I needed it and just to shut it down again when I needed it, right? So we've seen the repository. Uh, you'll now, I'll now show you this repo test package. Now I've got this idea or this concept off of uh, an engineer that I've worked with before. And uh, it's quite nice. So this is a basically a method that will go and run generic tests that you'd expect for any repo implementation on a repository interface. So all this takes in is a function which returns an implementation of this reader writer repository interface, right? And you'll see here that I have some tests like no data. So see if what happens when you try to insert no data, minimal data. So the bare minimum fields that are requirable, uh, required. So like a UID, a name, a bio, and a user ID. Uh, maximal data, so kind of all of the data. Uh, so the user ID, user, uh, the ID of the profile, name, bio, years of experience, working preference, and if it's active. And then I go and run the test case. So I just try and actually call the add profile method. Uh, obviously try and create the profile, get profile. And then I obviously try and just compare and make sure what's coming out of the repo matches what I'm expecting, right? So that's quite straightforward. That's just generic tests that run on a uh, repository. So now let's get into the actual Postgres side of this. So as you've already seen, I've got my Postgres implementation. I also have this Postgres test package. Now under the hood, this uses this embedded Postgres package, which is an open source package to enable you to spin up Postgres containers uh, within your Go programs. So it defines obviously a username, password, database, version, uh, runtime path, which is basically just a file where it outputs the instance to, the, the, and also obviously a port, uh, timeout settings, and some other fun stuff you can conf configure, like connections and fun stuff like that. So yeah, so I basically use this in my integration tests, which I'll go over to those now. So if we go to my Postgres repository and we go to the engineer underscore test file, you'll notice here that I spin up a new in-memory test database um, and I call the start method on it, which actually spins up that container or that um, instance of Postgres. And then obviously when the function ends and all the test cases pass, I want the uh, database to be cleaned up and stopped, right? And that's what this uh, cleanup function does here. It just stops the database. So this means I've got a nice in-memory database running for this exact test. And when all of the test cases finish for this test, that database is gone, we can move on to the next test. And if you want to do another one, it would spin up another one again and so on. So it does mean potentially you get a slower, um, you get your test run slower, obviously, um, but you can hide your integration test behind build tags. So if you don't want all of your integration tests to run when you just run your unit tests, then you can hide them behind a build tag. Um, so for example, maybe your CI CD pipelines, there might be some scenarios or something where you don't want to run your integration tests maybe for speed or maybe it's just expensive or whatever. Uh, and you can obviously hide those behind flags if you want to. Um, but you'll notice here that I literally just call the engineer repository. And actually talking about this, I can add very quickly uh, a defer con.close. I'm not really sure if I need this too much because uh, I already clean up the database, but hey, we'll, we'll close the Postgres connection as well, or attempt to. Um, anyway, so yeah, I just literally inject the connection into my Postgres repository. And then as you know, this function here is called 
within the actual repo tests, which is this one um, here. So it's called new repo here. And now I'm now testing all of these test cases on my exact Postgres implementation, which means I get com complete coverage over any re repository methods that are tested. So I can ensure uh, any data is going in, any errors or return that I expect, uh, any syntax errors on SQL, obviously. Uh, and it's just literally a full integration test and they're really easy to spin up. Uh, and the nice thing about this repo test package is if I suddenly do switch to SQLite or another database provider, uh, I can just implement that, throw it into this new repo function and all of those tests will run for that repo implementation as well. Um, so if you're not using Postgres and you can't use the um, package I'm using, uh, to spin up a test container. There is literally a package called test containers in Go, which label you to do the same thing. So you can kind of spin up uh, a container within Go. You can pull in an image like a Postgres image or um, any other image that you'll, you'll need for your database uh, and you're good to go. So that is pretty much it. That is kind of my integration tests for repositories in Go. And specifically, this is how I set up my Postgres integration tests. Uh, so hopefully, You've got something from the video and it's helped you out a little bit also hopefully this new microphone is pretty good uh, i thought i'd invest a little bit into the channel and uh, try and improve the quality a bit um so yeah um hopefully this helps see you later